Hi everybody, I hope you are doing all well today. Um Yeah, sorry guys. Just give me a second. Anyways guys, hello, how are you doing? Are you having a wonderful, wonderful day so far? Um oh shit, in the wrong scene. <laughs> yeah, look at that, start streaming, I'm already messing up. Yeah, anyways guys, uh, welcome to the stream. I have come back from Anime Con. We're back to our usual schedule of streams. Uh, the Monday coming will be art stream as normal and then obviously another Thursday stream and then after that we'll be back with the Clovers so don't worry we will be coming back with the Clovers just a little later than expected because obviously the Monday stream was supposed to be doing it I was at anime well I was on my way home for anime con so anyways guys like I said we've got lots to talk about about anime con and if you ever see my review I think you know how I summed it all up apart from my holiday home <laughs> oh god that was a uh, that that was shit yeah <laughs> the holiday home was shit but the convention was great um yeah anyways guys um well i won't be doing that announcement anymore about the con uh, until either i'll be coming next year or whatever um so i got some big news though very big news as i was just before the day when we literally the day before we traveled i just about finished volume five roughly so yeah so all it needs is proofreading and we're going to open a beta read event. Um, I, I'm not sure of the details yet, but please keep an eye on this channel. Obviously, there will be details then. Obviously, meanwhile, why don't you catch up on volumes one to four, my manga series Vamp the Lost Soul. You can buy the uh, books directly off me on Ko-fi, the physical copies. Remember, postage is a little bit expensive nowadays, so I would recommend getting the ebooks as well on my uh, King sorry amazon kindle and google play books as well um let's see what else have we got to announce uh apart from the usual stuff as you can see it's flashing through the screen right now i believe we're actually we're done on announcements i can't believe that that was actually very quick because usually i'll talk about the con and obviously now i've got all this stuff like you know beside me it's um it, it's it's yeah it just feels very real oh as for the thank yous uh thank you uh i think it's multi live dj um dj menace 84 and also uh okay quant uh, quantum kit uh, thank you for the follow and also lee me uh leah meep uh thank you for the uh resub for the ninth time so thank you thank you so much i hope you guys are absolutely awesome i hope this carries on let's jump into today's stream so Today, we are going to do some concept art of another character that needs a little bit more love in the concept art. And we are going to do uh, Jasper today from my manga series, VTLS. But first off, I forgot to do one thing before I started the stream, is to record the time lapse. <laughs> I keep, always keep forgetting to do that, but there you go. Anyways, guys, I hope you're all doing well today. I hope you are keeping lit, healthy and you know all that fun stuff. Uh, before we start doing this, let's uh, tone that down. Lay a new raster layer. Let's put that up to the top. And then we'll start drawing. There we go. Now, I did actually start a little bit on the inking yesterday. But obviously, uh, Clip Studio decided to go, uh, nah. You know, let's get you to start all over again. That's fine. I don't mind starting all over again. Actually, when I was supposed to finish off with that concept with the lance, I will do that. We'll do that another day. Like, <laughs> like don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll finish that one off next week. If I finish this one off in time... It's just this one I did on my spare time, and it's like, this is the first time I've drawn since finishing Volume 5, because honestly, I did want to take a little holiday with Anime Con and all that. So, and I did, and I had a really good time, actually, with the convention. Um, like I say, shame about the property we stayed in. Uh, that is, uh, I think if you guys listened to that review, obviously, you know my exact thoughts on the property we stayed at oh my god it was a shithole <laughs> I, i'm not gonna lie guys i i definitely won't be returning to that place anytime soon um if at all even but um no uh but yeah just check out my review if you want my full thoughts on that um there's not been really much development since then apart from i have to correct myself a little bit um, they did give us a goodwill gesture, but it wasn't really a refund. So, to be honest, I'm still a bit accurate when it's bugger all. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. 
that's what I mean. Like, it's... Uh, it still doesn't cover the cost and, you know, all the trouble it caused us as well. And I, I'm not even kidding you guys. Like, wh all the stuff I said on the review, I was putting it mildly. Like, if I was going to go full-blown everything and blinding, like... Like, the ants were coming out of, like, two whole areas. And one of them was in the, like, dishwasher. Nothing's working. The water, the thing. Yeah, they were all over. Yeah, and then you had, um, like you say, you've got that hole in... Well, it, it was practically a hole through the scene in that point where it led up to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, that's from damp damage. Um, and, like... Like, it, seriously, if you tread around that area where the whole of the ceiling was practically, like, you could feel, like, the floor bowing beneath your feet. It was not safe. Um, definitely wasn't safe for human use, but we had to make do. And, you know, we had to use that shower because, obviously, we had conventions. So, yeah. I remember that much. Yeah, we had to clean the bed sheets. Um, it, it, it wasn't... Uh, uh, where we stayed wasn't a good experience overall it was it was really terrible honestly and we are looking into taking further action to get a full refund at least or at least a 75 percent refund like because you know we did use it but we only used it out of necessity because we really needed a place to stay before the convention otherwise to be honest i think knowing us we would have just upped and left <laughs> If it was like a holiday, we would have just up and left and just, you know, it's probably like find somewhere else or stayed at home. You know what I mean? Like it was that fucking bad. But like I say, yet again, like because out of necessity, we kind of had to use it. So um, that to be honest, that was really annoying. But everything else with the convention is great. And like I say, again, if you watch that review where we stayed had nothing to do with the convention because, you know, we could have gone with like what they were making deals on. But we chose, we found somewhere cheaper with booking.com instead. And we thought, well, yeah, this is a legitimate site. They, sh You know, you should be able to get like a nice home somewhere in that. But no, nah, that was, uh, we, we got we got bamboozled, sadly. But when you dive delve in the reviews, there was some red, <laughs> like, like sort of like red, red sort of lights going on. But because there was no bad reviews between Able and then now, um, we didn't realize, uh, yeah, we didn't didn't realise like you know it could because we thought it could have been fixed by now, you know something with that major issue that would have fixed it. Hey, oh hello, JM. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta. Uh, JMW Fender. I think I got it right. If I sorted it, I apologise. Hey, how you been? How you been? How how's life been treating you? And what were you streaming, by the way? If you don't mind me saying so, <laughs> or asking so, that elbow pad looks off. Yes, it is off. <laughs> you know when you ask yourself the question? Yeah, we were just talking about my time in Anime Con and the... the well, it was not... An, my, my sketchbooks. Ooh, nice. So you were showing them off. Nice, nice. Um, Was it like you were drawing or were you just like doing like a show and tell sort of thing? If you don't mind. <laughs> I go, look, this looks great. And then I just go full on Space Marine with it. And it's like, no, I don't want to go full on Space Marine. I want the curve, baby. I want that nice curve. There we go. I got the curve. <laughs> got the nice curve now. Um, not like that, people. <laughs> but yeah, was it? So was it like you were drawing on your sketchbook, or was it like more like a like show and tell? Oh god, that felt nice. <laughs> so I I got some cold water, and it's like. And I'm waiting for this thunderstorm to come so we can get some breeze in this home. <laughs> yeah, there's a thunderstorm coming. My wife is excited. You can hear her. She's like Beavis and Bad going, thunderstorm, thunderstorm. <laughs> um, yeah, it's sort of, sort of like a sort of show and tell. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Like, to be honest, I should do one of those streams. Where, oops, sorry. I should do one of those streams. Um... Well, I, well, I show off my old sketchbooks because, oh my god, some of my old art. <laughs> to be honest, I'm a bit afraid to show you guys, but it's a bit of the same time. A bit like, I should really, because then you can see where I where I came from. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fair enough. No, no, it's fair enough. Like, like I say, um, I need to do that at some point. I I've been wanting to do that for some time, but I was a bit like, should I? Mm. <laughs> you know. 
I, I, I was debating with myself, but um, oh, what's going on? There you go. Tablet wasn't reacting right. There we go. Technology, people. <laughs> Can't always rely on it for everything. Uh, I got through my first two. Oh, nice. So what did you show everyone? I'm guessing it's stuff I might have seen before. I, I am, uh, I, one is assuming. <laughs> I should assume, should I? Because you, because we know the big saying about assuming. Makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. To be honest, my, my, uh, my stepdad, uh, tells me, tells me that all the time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, pardon? Yeah, yeah, but it's just, it's, it's the same he likes to say as well to anyone. Because you know, you know what Simon's like with his puns. Yeah. <laughs> it, dude, I'm, not, I'm not even a bit joking, like, him and his puns, oh my god, they are terrible. <laughs> there we go. To be honest, I, I can be just as bad. My wife can attest to that with my puns. <laughs> I can be pretty punny. <laughs> no, no. I think we, I think I felt I felt the cringe through the screen from everyone. Oh, Rachel, it's not your birthday. You should be opening your presents that early. <laughs> New toy. Uh, I re remember when I bring my sketchbooks to the art. Oh, them ones. Yeah. So, so it is sketchbooks. I know. That's fair enough. I was wondering if you did a new one since then. There we go. Uh, yeah. There we go. So I just try to. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, com yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know the one. I, I remember the sketchbooks. I was just make sure there weren't weren't any new ones. So, um, but yeah, no, that's pretty good, man. So, was that your very first stream, by the way, or have you streamed before? If you don't mind me asking. Oh dear, what's going on here? Nope. Okay, so we do overarm. Oh, by the way, dude, uh, I did say on my announcements, by the way, um, I will, volume five is, um, is well, it's pretty much done um, at this point. It's just, I'm waiting on, obviously, I'm going to get it proofread and I might open a beta read. So if any of you guys want to beta read it, there will be an event coming soon. Um, but yeah, that, like I say, uh, just keep keep your eye on uh, Movie Shack because I might be arranging something with them for the beta read. So just keep an eye on it. Um, hey, it's our friendly demon. It's the McBear Demon. How you been? How you been? How you been? How you been? Welcome back. How um, how's how's everything been? Are you feeling a bit better now? Because I know you started. Um, Started on your new tablets and they were making you a bit uh drowsy. Oh so drowsy. Don't know why I was singing at you, my bear, but there you go. You got a present from me. I sung at you. <laughs> my singing ain't that bad. I actually don't agree because someone might be blood on the chat. <laughs> you're, like, Man, you're bad at singing. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> oh. I don't think that that hold on, let me have a look at the hand. Sorry, I'm having a look because the hand's bothering me a little bit. I've got volume two and three. And, oh, you got them from James. Yeah, he's a lovely bloke. James owns a com that comic book shop in Dartford. I know him. Yeah, I know the Dartford shop. <laughs> the one that was in the clock tower, but now it's in uh, sort of next to... Um, is it the subway? Is it next to now? I can't remember. Like, <laughs> those shops interchange so many times, I can't remember. But I know he's located around like near near the theatre. Yeah, that that's yeah, I usually go to that one. Yeah, I know him. James is a lovely boat. He's the guy that also um goes to Japan as well and gets like Japanese stuff every now and again. Rachel likes that shop. <laughs> you do. Yeah, you like that shop because you get sweeties. My wife likes Japanese sweeties. <laughs> 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 any sweeties from anywhere Rachel don't discriminate <laughs> there we go and then just do there we go uh, that's a bit wrong let's try that again um, 
yeah, he went there a few weeks ago, I think. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, I love that shot. It's brilliant. Uh, exhaust. Yeah, he goes to Japan. He went there a few... Oh, he went to Japan. Nice. He did go... Uh, James went back there a few weeks ago. He owns the uh, comic book shop in Dartford. Exhausted. Still waiting on my meds review uh, next week. Hoping they are up the dose and more into something than these. Sorry, I've been a bit... Yeah, no. De demon. Demon. I'm not going to hold you at gunpoint, yeah? Because I I understand your health is more important. Okay? So do what you need to do. All right? You can do what you got to do. I'm not going to come here and go, you st stay, stay or, or, or I shoot you and uh, make you drink all the tea in the world. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that to you, buddy. You you, you do, do do what you need to do, demon, to get better. You do. Oh, okay. oh, you got a rare find yesterday. What did you find? I'm guessing this might be something to do with Pokemon cards? Question mark. Oh, that, that reminds me. I need to get the magic cards to the uh, to the movie chat to get them to help me to sell them. <laughs> um, oh, you found a manga at a charity shop. Yeah, that, that's a rare find. There's not very uh, many shops that would sell manga at a charity shop. Um, I remember the... I remember my mum got me an entire series of Love Hainer um, from the charity shop. And I thought, I might as well give it all a read since my mum got me it. Um, not into rom-coms much, but it, it was okay for what it was. Like, you know, I, I enjoyed, it was an enjoyable read. It wasn't the best read in the world, but I enjoyed it. It gave me a few, few like, giggles, but it was very tropey. <laughs> tropey as hell. Um... But I, I, I kind of enjoyed it. But, yeah. And then I kind of, like, um, gave it back to charity shop afterwards. Um, my brain's been on a spiral, so it might do me good. Huh? That's fair enough. It's fair enough, my man. Don't, don't worry. Oh. Right. I'm going to introduce you to somebody. So, this this moderator here, he's Bear Demon. Or Macab. But we call him Bear because he's our friend Little Bear. He is he's got this like twisted looney tunes art style i think i might have shown you his art once or twice demon demon uh, this one of the chatters here comes from my art lessons in the comic book shops this is one of the uh young uns uh, i got sold out online uh and and crad i haven't heard of that one noragami oh these ones uh those two i haven't heard oh dead man in wonderland mate I've seen the anime of this and it's brilliant. I want to get the manga. I have to admit, like Dead Man Wonderland is fucking sorry, it's good. <laughs> sorry, I, I got to remember I have a youngin on this stream. So, uh, sorry, I like that. I like that slip. I apologize. Um, but yeah, Dead Man Wonderland is good. I love that anime. So so good. Brutal but really good. If I'm thinking of that one. Uh, no, nah, don't worry. <laughs> That's fair enough. Um, yeah, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to nickname you Fender for now because then it just keep my brain from saying your name. Uh, you can say what you want. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> if, I, if I could do that, <laughs> there'll be trouble. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Uh, Demon. <laughs> yeah, me, D Demon. Um, I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw you on my Discord group. Demon, could you upload one of your recent artworks on there? Because I, I want uh, Fender to see your artwork because you do some really lovely art and you've got that like, twisted Looney Tune style and I love it. it you've, got, you've got a fantastic art style. I'm basically art gay for Muck Bear, by the way, if you don't know by now. Don't worry, my wife makes profit. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> That's a poor Animaniacs reference there. I think your dad would know that reference. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah. That was... Uh... Oh, God. Animaniacs was awesome, man. Did they make a comeback recently, actually? I think they did, didn't they? But they were like on an obscure like streaming channel, like Hulu or something. Yeah, like I think it was something like that. And Pinky the Brain came back on there as well. Jesus, we're talking about my childhood stuff now, like stuff I watched when I was like a little and 
<laughs> oh god. Rachel, you remember Pinky and the Brain, don't you? And the Animaniacs. Do you know what not many people remember? And I'm really sad they don't. Freakazoid. Freakazoid was an awesome cartoon. I don't care what anyone says. Like, the jokes were on point. Uh, probably a little dated now, but oh my god. Such a meta show. And they used to have, like, one of these, like, most random, like, intro songs as well. It's like, da 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 Freakazoid, Chimpanzee. Like, literally just that random. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, I'm su to be honest, I'm surprised they haven't brought him back yet. I know he made a cameo, and I'm going to say this with a sigh, Teen Titans Go. And I know he made, because I remember someone talking about it. I was like, oh, God. But yeah, from James, I got uh, no regrets. Uh, oh, a Attack on Titan, no regrets, one and two. Uh, spoof on Titan, Vamp the Lost of one and one and two. DBZ, ah, uh, you got Transformers in one. Bull Mount Alchemist one. Oh, Berserk. Oh, God. Bers you got Berserk. Dude, that's like one of the most brutal mangas out there. Apart from Vindaland, apparently. Vindaland's probably quite brutal as well. And JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, part one. All good choices. <laughs> I have to admit, all good choices on manga. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, absolutely love. Um, I've watched the whole Brotherhood um, series and it's brilliant. And I have a dark sense of humor. And um, I'm not sure, like, I don't, I don't want to spoil it for you. Have you watched the Brotherhood anime, um, Fender? If you don't mind me uh, asking. Because before I spoil it, I, I want to uh, make sure you've watched it as well. Yeah, people might listen. Right. So people who are listening, spoiler alert. So if you're watching this from YouTube, skip the next 10 minutes. <laughs> there you go. Ward and Rachel. Yeah, 10 minutes. Skip 10 minutes. So they don't, you know. I've played Mortal Kombat 11, so I think I'll be fine reading Berserk. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, Berserk's like, oh my God, it's really dark. Really good story, but very dark. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what I've been waiting on the next season on. I think it's called Jingo Django. I, I, no, that's the song. Um, so I'll, I'll give you the premise of it because I can't remember the name of the anime. So it's like a World War II scenario, but with mages. But they're wearing like World War II like clothing and all that. And you got this um, version of the German Empire. It's like the magic version of the German Empire. And you got this little girl that's reincarnated to this world. And she becomes like one of the most ruthless leaders um, in the series. And I can't remember the name. I think the, so the song's called Ginger Jungle. Because I remember Amelie's cover. And, oh. It's like, um, I like on to love. I like on to love. It's really good. I think actually Rachel would enjoy that. But I'm waiting for the new season of that at the moment. But it's like, ah, when's it coming? <laughs> I really, I really want to get there. But by the way, I think you guys are here for something else, aren't you? I think you want to hear about my time in Anime Con, don't you? Um, oh, better. Have you seen um, at my autographs that I managed to get there that my wife kindly treated me to? Bless her. You, you did treat me. No, no, really. Yeah, I know, but I would not have done it myself. You know what I mean? So it was you treating me. See, she did. She did. She's not good with compliments. Oh, I'll work this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife's brain's flatlined. I think. <laughs> but um. But yeah, I got autograph from the voice actress of Naruto. Um, I've got. We got. Well, we both got. We both got an autograph from the guy who plays Tanjiro in Demon Slayer. And we got the autograph because um, we first heard he played Emu at the uh, Mugen Train Saga in Demon Slayer. And then I realized he was in Chainsaw Man as well. And I've just watched the first season and he plays the future demon, which is one of my most favorite characters, even though he, only, he was only there for a few minutes. I loved every minute of it. It's like, oh, God. But yeah. Oh my god, they were all such lovely people. And um and also I met someone 
um, as we were packing up day one, we met someone from called the Anime Freshman Podcast. I'm not sure if you guys listen to anime podcasts, but I met one of the guys from there. And apparently they're pretty big on the anime scene um, when it comes to podcasts and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. He, and he literally he just chatted to us randomly. And he's got like one of my books as well. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a really good event. Um, we literally like almost broke even on day one and then gone over even on day two, even though it was like dead as a dodo. Um, <laughs> but no, but we had a really good time there. There was a lot of different stalls as well. It wasn't just like MTM where it was like all Funko, 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 Funko Pop. It was like, there was like a ramen bowl stall for those who like to eat out chopsticks and ramen bowls and all that. You had anime merch. There was one Funko stand, but there was only one, so I forgive him for that. <laughs> and there was a lot of different art stalls. Um, there was a Japanese sweetie shop. Rachel was happy because there was two donut stalls there. That she's had donuts from both. Um, I've got all the Chainsaw Man manga out. That's out so far. Ah, oh, so you know about the? Because obviously I've only watched season one. Don't spoil it for me. You know about the Future Demon? Yeah, I've got his autograph. And it's like, oh yes. I'm so happy about that. Um, but yeah, it was so it was awesome meeting them. I did have a little nerd out, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I, I had a little nerd out when I met them. I did. Oh I I I nerd out quite a bit. Wasn't as bad as most people nerd out. I just, I just had a little nerd out. <laughs> but yeah. I, I I did have a tinsy nerd out, I will admit. <laughs> but um I think my bear's not talking because uh he might be a bit uh, have I made you jelly bean demon? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry? Oh thank you. Um oh I've got some more manga on the way. Yes, mate, what are you getting? By the way, if you don't mind me asking. Cause I, I'm waiting for like new seasons for stuff. I'm really annoyed that One Punch Man Season 2 is not in English on Crunchyroll. I'm so annoyed. Uh, but it's not... It's, they've got it in French, but they haven't got it in English. I'm like... You know, like, say them cry out of the old schools of reasons. <laughs> Why? But, yeah. I'm still waiting on that. I'm watching a new Gundam series. I can't remember what it's called. I think Richard Mercury. That's it. I've been watching Richard Mercury. Oh, my God. That is a good Gundam series. Uh, I need to watch all the old school Gundam because I've actually found from, what was it, Bonsai Pop, I think YouTube channel's on, that he's giving me like like the order to watch the main universe stuff in. Because apparently there's an order, like the Fate series. Fate series is pretty good as well, actually, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, my bear's too busy clipping my burps. I don't know one of the two. Come on, Thunderstorm, come. Cool me down. <laughs> I'm trying to provoke the thunderstorm sort of like bread on make me green. <laughs> Listen, but, but should, should I just play Raining Blood by Slayer, maybe? Maybe that'll make it rain sooner. <laughs> oh, could you imagine if that did? If I just like slammed on the track. Obviously I can't do it on here for copyright reasons, but could you imagine how hilarious that'd be? I'll play Raining Blood and then just uh, push. I've got some AOT man going away. Nice. Da, 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 da. But yeah, Attack on Titan Volume 2 uh for free uh sorry two free omnibus um and volume two free free and Comey. Oh Comey can't communicate. I need to watch the season two of that. Um Hey JP! We got a few chatters here tonight. Hello JP, how you been? Hey Ovam, I saw that video you put out about the con. Looked like a good time. Oh, it was a really good time, man. I had such a good time. And the organizers were so nice as well. Um, I'm not sure if you saw my review in the end. Like, literally, like, the only really bad thing that I ended up talking about wasn't even anything to do with the con. It was where I stayed. And, oh, my God, it was a poop hole. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, like, it was bad, bad. Like, like I say, there was ants all over the place. Um, <laughs> there was a crack through the ceiling everything and anything was broken in that building like that place was not fit for human use i tell you like I, i'm not joking like like seriously like we are looking into uh 
because booking.com went oh yeah here's that 80 pound uh was it 85 pound money like like goodwill gesture that was a goodwill gesture was it even a refund and we're just looking at them like this place is about to crash and we had to make do I think you need to do a little better than just an 85 pound refund that we paid like a 500 pound home for you know <laughs> But other than that, the con was really good. I had a really good time. The community was amazing. Um, the staff were absolutely on point, both the NEC and the um, and the con staff. You know, Clive was really nice. Um, he actually personally thanked me for the advertisement as well, which was fantastic. And it made me really happy that an organizer went out of his way to thank me in con. And um, Clive, if you are watching the stream, Again, thank you so much. That actually meant the world to me. But, um, but yeah. Just sign up for Discord. That's fair enough. Um, Discord is... Discord, you know. Yeah, uh, do so. Uh, Mark Bear, when you have the time, um, when he's on there, just jump on some art on there. Because like I say, I do want him to really see your artwork. And he, you, he does some beautiful artwork, our, uh, our little demon here. JP, have you done any new artwork, by the way? um you're one of the one of the artists actually you're really good um and by the way uh vendor this is jp jp does a lot of dnd &D art and we do do talk about dnd &D on stream a lot um you know about you know dm stuff essentially um i don't like how that root's looking there we go i think that's the only part of the silhouette i don't like because i want to do all this mostly silhouette and then just sort of there we go and then just do that's it well warm today but yeah no that's fair enough um but when china discord we have a very little community um and there are some amazing artists in there like dark bug jp um up there you, we've got loads of good artists in there um some of them with uh hilarious uh usernames uh a certain someone called themselves uh yeetus <laughs> Well, it rhymes with Yeetus, but when you when you go on there, you're like, oh god, this guy's got a dark sense of humor. But you know, um, <laughs> but he does. We got we got some lovely artists on here, so I should I should really get a fan for my uh, desktop, you know, for the summer. <laughs> I just realized I should get a fat like a small fan up here for myself, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, but, uh, anyways, uh, what manga is everyone reading right now? If you if you're reading manga, um, I was read I was rereading through My Hero Academia actually, funnily enough, um, because I brought a book with me on holiday. I haven't bought any new manga lately, but I was reading through. I think my sorry. I'm not allowed. Got enough. <laughs> Rachel was telling me off. I'm not allowed. I got enough. I'm not allowed to get any more manga. Well, we are gonna be moving. Yeah, we are moving, so I'm not allowed any more manga till then. No. <laughs> right, no more sweeties then, Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, right, can, can we explain about Rachel's sweetie habits, right? I, I'm going to sit here and be Papa Raven time, right? My wife here, right, she's telling porky pies because she does eat them. But she doesn't eat enough that she replaces. If you get what I'm saying. No. So it adds a little bit more. It adds a little bit more. Don't you lie. It adds a little bit more. She, no. <laughs> you can tell she's lying by that, that tone of voice. Don't you lie me that tone of voice. Song, <laughs> <laughs> um, the only thing. Uh, I've done some Pokemon from memory sketches. Um, I'm reading Ultra Analyst right now. Oh, what's that one about? I might have to give that one a shot at some point but um looking at rachel like <laughs> giving her the look of <laughs> i love you too that's when her tone changes and it, i'm gonna do it in a morgan freeman saw and in that <laughs> my doggy bring <laughs> being clingy <laughs> oh bless yeah he, he has dog fighters on there all the time as well oh, it's cute the dog's quite cute um yeah, so the only thing I've done, uh, some Pokemon from memory sketches on Aggie Do Doto. I'm guessing that's someone. I throw them in your Discord. Yeah, throw them in the Discord. 
we, we always like to have a look. It's like all of the MAA characters expanded in depth sort of. Oh. Oh, so it's My Hero Academia Ultra. And oh, I get it. Because I know there's a side series as well called Anti Heroes, isn't it? I know they've done a side series as well. Right. As for, do I want to do a butterfly? I don't know. I'm going to do. I'm going to type in anime butterfly. Because actually, it might be good to study up on them. There we go. Ah. Okay, yeah. Okay, I. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, I did draw them a little wrong. Okie doke. <laughs> sorry, just looking at butterflies. I'm studying butterflies quickly. So, we're going to zoom in here. Um, I'm currently uh, pinned as. <laughs> as being pestered for belly rubs. <laughs> Gotta love dogs. <laughs> uh, Aggie is a multi-user art program and it lets you draw with friends. It's super fun. Oh, maybe we should do a stream of that one day. Oh, that might be really fun. Dude, uh, JP, could you give me the link for that? Because I might have to be tempted to do an art stream and we could get everyone joining in on that. I, I, think, I think we need to do that. Did someone say Demon Slayer? Yep, uh, we were just talking about um, Demon Slayer, about, oh, my bear, I'm going to make you jealous. Guess who I got autographs from? <laughs> Sorry, this, this is a me and Demon thing. He's going to kill me for it, but you know what? This is worth it because this this was, this was my treat by my wife, so you can't blame me. Guess who I met, Demon? Guess who I met? Have you watched my video? Have you seen who I met? <laughs> Sure, it's uh, just Aggie.io. Okay, cool. We give that demon. I, uh, demon. I met the uh, met Ta the voice actor for Tanjiro for Demon Slayer. I also met Emu. I also met the voice actor for Emu, who also does the future demon out of Chainsaw Man. Huh? I'm telling Demon because Demon's gonna get jelly. <laughs> Rachel finds it funny. He's like, Demon's gonna get jelly. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, Demon, but I had to make you jelly. <laughs> you watch Demon, Demon's going to be like, what? <laughs> you did this without me? Sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. Trying to shit stir wife. <laughs> My wife is shit stirring, people. Get get, get the spoons out. Do your stirring. Do, do your impressions of stirring. That's what my wife's doing right now. Hey, Springtrap, how you been? Welcome to the stream. How's life been treating you? Uh, I watch Tanjiro's voice actor on YouTube sometimes. Yeah, he's he's a really nice guy as well. Um, quite a talkative fella as well, actually. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he's really good. He's done a lot of other stuff that I didn't realize he did. I want to plug his internet, but I don't know. Up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, being I'm, I'm messing with you love mm. i'm messing i swear i'm not i'm gonna be that evil and shove things up your butt mm. much <laughs> hold on I'm trying mm. to find my cable oh there it is mm. <laughs> right if you put it there yeah. Sorry, you can angle it, can't you? yeah i can handle the true angle and you mean trouble me oh no you're not in a panic what's going on trap I hope you're okay. Um, but yeah, no, I'm doing well. I've had a really good weekend at AnimeCon. Um, well, anime. Oh, and we went to the Cadbury's factory, people. Uh, I'm a Galaxy fan, but my wife went to the Cadbury's factory. And you bought Cadbury. Yeah, it's fine. Trap, tra if you don't want to explain it here, that's fine. I just want to make sure you're okay at least. Um, his character matches his personality. Uh, that's why they picked him for the Royal Tadra. Thank you, lovely. Can you it feels feel really that? nice, yes. My wife's been lovely to me. Thank you. You're in trouble, though. Why? Well, now we've had that conversation with you. I wonder where that third fan is. Yeah. It's on your bloody bedside. Was it? you got two fans on your bedside. That one and the third one. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> well, that one. That one can stay up here. Okay. And you can use this other one that was right next to it. Oh, no. Okay. My wife beat me up now. Apparently, <laughs> I'm naughty. Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> but we'll come along and burst my bubble. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> no, like I say, chat, if you want to explain to me privately or you just want to keep to yourself, that is absolutely fine, man. But I hope I hope uh, whatever you're panicking about gets resolved soon, mate. Because uh, there's nothing nothing worse than you panicking. Uh... But yeah, simplest way to put it, uh, my friend is either aggressively flirting with me or joking, and I can't really tell. Oh, yeah, I know the vibe. Like, trap. Like, this this was me back when I was younger. Are you the type that when someone flirts with you, you don't know how to react? Like, when, like, you got jokey flirt, and then you got, I don't know how to react to this flirt. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing you're the latter. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just looking at butterflies. I believe I can fly. I think I am a motherfucking butterfly. Oh shit, did it again. <laughs> All right, edit undo. All right, let's do it undo that line work. Okay, so it should be more like. Oh, stop. So butterflies. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want that line to be like that. Thank you very much. And then you just do that. I think I did that wrong, haven't I? No. I think that's right. No, I don't think it's right. <laughs> I, I'm looking at butterfly rings and it's like, I don't think that's right. I don't like it. I want to be a smurf. <laughs> Guess that reference. Anyways, <laughs> there we go. Right, now we got the butterfly and then we just... Uh, there we go. And then just sort of... Awesome. Now we got a butterfly. Um, yeah, no, you, you, you were like me when I was younger. I was very like, uh, how, what the fuck? How do, how do I? Uh... <laughs> oh, do, do, do. Uh, my auntie is scared of butterflies and it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, no. Why is your auntie scared of butterflies? I think they're cute. I, I, to, to be honest, I'm afraid of daddy long legs, so I can't speak. <laughs> Seriously, like I am terrified of the fuckers i hate them because i tell you why and this is why in my head sorry sore again um i tell you in my head they look like giant mosquitoes i think that's why like oh thank you for the pasta checks bring trap just stretch my butt there we go i'll uh i'll do that as complete i have completed um right now i've stretched my back and that um what was i saying yeah, I'm afraid of Daddy Longest because they look like giant mosquitoes. And I'm sorry, no, anyone can fight me on that. They do. They look like giant, ugly little mosquitoes. And I don't like them. <laughs> I've now got a feeling someone's going to come with Daddy Longest one day just to freak me out. <laughs> oh, dear. I think, I think I've revealed my weakness, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Spiders. I agree. Spiders are terrifying. Right. Wait, I think I'll, spider uh, arachnophobia, I think, is literally the most common of of the insect phobias. Like, I think that's like the most common one out of the insects, if I remember correctly. Um, and then just sort of nope. Sort of, there we go. If you want to know how to do birdies, just do this. It looks like birdies are flying in the background. We get one straight one there, guy. Work for me. Only you guys will know that joke. You know, everyone's going to be looking at a drawing and getting the in joke. You're like, what's so funny about a stray bird? It's like, oh, don't worry. <laughs> you don't get it unless you're in the stream. You got to be with the cool kids. <laughs> you got to be with the cool kids, man. You don't understand. Careful, young man. You got to wake up my. Wake up the father. <laughs> the father long legs fans. Uh oh. Shh. Don't say anything to daddy long legs fans. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I, even even the four of them makes me like oh god no like spiders i could just about tolerate um <laughs> uh i get i get petrified when i when i'm facing a spider it's just like how i am it right now but i don't know how to respond um i tell you what spring my only reaction is to joke back and that's the only thing that's the only way i know how to respond <laughs> flight or flight response <laughs> joke it back <laughs> when i was six i almost uh almost knocked uh, uh sorry when i was six she almost knocked me over while i was walking in the woods my nan because she stirred jump uh 
<laughs> oh no! Because you saw a butterfly. Oh no! I hope you're okay. Fucking hell. But, um. But yeah. I don't know, like. Yeah, I was going to say, like. I never heard anyone to be afraid of butterfly. Wasps, logical, because they're evil little buggers. <laughs> they're, they're nature's little. Uh, how can I put this politely? Um, nature's little beeps. <laughs> Nobody likes wasps. They're, they're nature's chav. There we go. They are the chavs of nature. <laughs> they just annoy everyone and sting everybody just because they want to. <laughs> um, so he says they are scary up close. Actually, yeah. Like, when you look at a camera up close to the butterfly, they do look pretty ugly. I'm not going to lie. They look like... Like, when, when you look at them from a distance and they're flattening around, you're like, oh, they're so cute. But up close, they do look pretty ugly, actually. Come, come to think of it, they are pretty ugly up close. And to be honest, like, it is kind of scary how a butterfly can go from a caterpillar. Like, when you actually think about how it metamorphosizes and all that stuff, it is pretty creepy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's, it's one of those... Um, but yeah yeah actually thinking about it that is pretty creepy how like a butterfly could just straight up like a caterpillar could just cover itself thank you for the plaster check and that does stretch yeah thank you for the plaster check I will complete it thank you <laughs> that sounded like a like you know when you go like the satisfying noise like sort of podcast channel go yes, this is a this is a uh, sound of crumbling paper <laughs> Everything's scary up close. Have you uh, ever get a really good look at your own face? <laughs> yeah, man, I see it. And I'm just like, Ugh! every time. <laughs> yeah, I, every time. Every time, man. I scare, I scare the crap out of myself like every morning. I look into that mirror and I go, who, who's that? I was asking me. <laughs> Sound a bit like Johnny Bravo then. <laughs> and just like, oh, God. But yeah. I, I tell you what's freaky, right? And as a kid, I found this really freaky. And you guys are going to laugh at me from it. I found Hello Kitty freaky as fucking hell. I have no clue. Should I ask him if... Uh, I'm... Yeah, if you're generally confused, just say, look, sorry, I'm confused. Uh, do you, I, were you generally playing with me? <laughs> uh, thank you for the hydrate. Let's get hydrated. Mm. Ugh, the hydrate. Um, I'm starting my new school Monday. Ooh, nice. What's this? A secondary school, I'm guessing. Was this like, you know, you had to like move schools or whatever? I don't. There we go. This is one of those things. It does take a few times for me. <laughs> Do you know what? Without the whole nightmare symbol, it's not... sometimes I see the McDonald's M. Ba -da -ba -ba. I'm wondering why I was subcon subconsciously inspired by the McDonald's logo. And I've never realized till now. Oh, God. Yeah, let's not make that canon. <laughs> yeah, uh, secondary school because I moved house. Oh, nice. Uh, where did you move to? Like somewhere. Obviously, actually, don't tell me. Actually, I don't want people like dating each other. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm going to look on Google Maps to see where you are. Yeah, you <laughs> oh god gotta have a good sense of humor anyways uh edit undo edit undo oh god but yeah oh near a beach nice mate nice i'm a little gel nice i want to be beside the seaside oh i do want to be beside the sea uh i've asked them um, uh just have to wait now. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it, to be honest, like, like because of my autism, some when I was like younger in my young years, before I got with my wife, I generally had to ask because I got really confused because I have a sense of humor. But when someone says it tries to be serious, they get the hump with me if I don't pick up on it. I'm like, wait, what? I was very oblivious. I have to admit. I was a very oblivious young man back in the day. 
Uh, I complete my rotation around the sun again. Yay! You've got to do your cummy, cummy like you know, just like yay! Flap your arms everywhere. There you go. Do 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 uh, do the cummy the frog thing. <laughs> yay! Anyways, <laughs> um, right. Let's get the rubber and just sort of just straighten some things out. There we go. And then just straighten this bottom bit out because I don't like that being uneven for too long. I just sort of, yeah, that's it. And then, and then just sort of do, 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 do. There we go. Anyways, guys, if you've done any new art, um, feel free to swing on the Discord. Anyway, oh, we, look, we got some art. We got some art, guys. Let's have a look. Oh, I like a nine times. Let's have a look at everybody's art here. So, obviously, um, oh, sorry. We're, BA. There we go. <laughs> So, yeah, this is on the Discord. So, this is on your post your art section. So, we're going to go back a little bit. That's what I've been working on currently at the moment. I'm going to finish that off on another stream. That's my Lancelot art, concept art. Um, this is a chibi uh, harpy lady by Dubbug. This is uh, by... <laughs> Why do you have to have these usernames? <laughs> you just... <laughs> Uh, did a very lovely background art. I can't help. Every time I see that username, it cracks me up every goddamn time. And then we got this lovely art by JP. So we got this lovely, like, sort of Nine Tails um, fiery vibe. That's quite nice. I love. <laughs> Charizard looks pissed off because I think someone stole his sandwich. JP, I think someone stole Charizard's sandwich. I think you might need to make him another one at say, ASAP. And. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a space marine? <laughs> Pokemon hating space marine. <laughs> I just love the fact he's smoking out of his helmet. Oh, God. Sorry, JP, that last one cracked me up. I love it. <laughs> I think that one of them, that last one was the best one. Gave me a good old giggle. If, you, if your art can give me a giggle, you've done something right. <laughs> But yeah, uh, right, so we're going to need to do some creases. Let's do some like line work creases. Oh, stop. The tablet's not doing what it's told it to do. Dum, 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 dum. There we go. Now the tablet's behaving. And then just sort of, that's it. And then just sort of, there we go. I think we are, apart from the butterfly wings, we're ready to color in. Um, I'm going to... I completed my rotation around this world. I'm going to have to head out. Uh, have a good stream. Yeah, no, have a good uh, have a good time, Springtrap. I hope everything goes well for you. And I hope, uh, hope things will get sort themselves out soon. So, yeah, just don't stress yourself too much about it, bud. Just uh, have, have a good time. Just have a relax. Have a nice cup of tea. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll just do this, and then just do this. Uh, actually, I, think, I know what we're going to do. Let's do that. There we go. Just thicken that. Make it thick! I'm going to make those lines thick. Anyways. <laughs> and then just do that. There we go. And then... Do you know what? This music that we're listening to right now somehow reminds me of Theme Hospital. I don't know why. You know, like the music that you listen to where people are in the waiting room in the game and you're trying to build like so many room, rooms in a hospital game. My bear, you might know what I'm on about. You must have played Theme Hospital when you was a kid. Oh, God. Now that makes me feel old. Back in my day, in the army. There we go. All right, make that. Wings doubly thick. Make it thick. Make those like thick. Anyways, there we go. And then just sort of do, do a couple little dots here. Just sort of, there we go. And there we go. And yeah, there we go. Now we've got nice little dots on the butterfly wings. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now what we can do is... Oh, ah, poo. 
I just noticed something. There's a gap somewhere. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. There you go, there's a gap. <laughs> found it! I found the gap of little Timmy. Anyways, there we go. Because I want to do this as... Because I want to do this as sort of like a sunset vibe. Pardon me. <laughs> oh god. My bet you better clip that. Oh yes, I need to uh I need to complete my uh my tea drinking. There we go. <laughs> I didn't press complete on my tea drinking. How rude. How rude, yes indeed. Very rude. Anyways. And then do the thumb. Anyways, guys, if you do want any tips or tricks or ask any questions about VTLS itself, feel free to ask. Obviously, we're up coming to volume five, so you know. Let me catch up right now. There we go. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, something I haven't put into mind. So what we're gonna have to do? Let's just do this, and then do a couple of lines, and then just do that. Awesome. And then get that, and then we'll just sort of refine the elbow pad a little bit. Make that line a little bit thinner. There we go. Awesome. So now we've got the outline of the butterfly and stuff like that. I'm not going to lie. That <laughs> butterfly ain't too bad. We need to clean up that line work though. Just right at the edge of that wing. There we go. That was bothering me for a little bit. But yeah, no, we've, we're have we not done too bad. So now what we're going to do is do two sorts of layers. So we want to do the foreground layer first. Where we've got Jasper and the butterfly. Is that arm a little too far out? Or is it just my brain because of the shoulder pad? Let me have a zoom in. Sorry, I'm just having a look at something. I think the arm... Yeah, I see what I've done here. That line's not in enough. That's... <laughs> I was looking at that like That line's off somehow. There we go. See, kids, this, even I can make mistakes too. I can make a mistake or two, but you got to just learn to improve. Or oh, improv. I'm on Discord now. Nice. Uh, feel free to uh, show off any of your art, Fender, by the way. Um, hold on. Let, what's going on here? Why? Is it? Oh, it's done it. It's done it. Right. There we go. Awesome. Okay. There we go. I just sort of. Yeah, feel free to show off your art, by the way. Let, while I fix this. Yeah, because then it should be. Yeah, the line work should be more like that. There we go. So it looks like where the elbow is. I'm going to see. Right. That's why it went all black. Right. Okay, cool. I think I now know why this happened. I can post my manga drawings on it. Yes, you can. Uh, if you put, if you go to the chat section, post, uh, post you art here, um, or under the art category, you can actually, uh, um, I don't, yep. And also, I need to give you a title of tea cultists, because you know, if you're if you're gonna enter our tea cult, um, we we need to make sure you are one of the cultists that steals everyone's tea. <laughs> T sergeant. No, we don't want T sergeant. We want T cultist. There you go. You're one of the T cultists now. You are you are forever contract bound to steal T for the T cult. And there is nothing you can do about it. <laughs> yes, you can post your art there. Just uh just uh click on post your uh post you art here and then uh you can get cracking. Um right, that now looks like that arm is going in and then the shoulder pads sort of leaning away. Because, yeah, because that's where the pit is. And, yeah, the pit is too far out. So we need to make sure that arm does actually look like it's coming from there. Yeah, okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, cool. We're good. <laughs> I was looking at it like, something ain't right. I don't like it. <laughs> Here, that's just plain nasty. <laughs> Anyways, new rust layer. 
but yeah, you can post your art. You can post pet pics in there. Um, yeah, just have a look through the conversations because we got loads of different chats, uh, chatting about loads of different things, and we we would like we like to get some more chatters on there so we can get people to sort of you know talk about what they like, like anime stuff like that. Um, right. So now what we should do, yeah, awesome. And then what we can do is now do this. Awesome. And then just drop the bucket. Oh dear. Right. So yeah, there's a gap somewhere. Edit undo. We could just do that. And then just sort of. There we go. And then get the rubber. There we go. Awesome. So we've got the butterfly. Now we just go to the butterfly and we're going to have to fix up a few bits here. So we just got to fix up around its legs. There we go. Because obviously I think what's happened here is they kind of just grabbed a few bits and then... There we go. And just check for anywhere. Nope, we are pretty good. So now we've got one bit of the layer done. Now we're going to do the sunset bit. Now, let's have a look at our gradients, because I believe I do have my sunset here. So this layer is going to be our sunset. Uh, no, I think we're going to do... Nope, edit, undo. And then just do higher up, and then just do it from here. Yeah, just sort of... Done. awesome that's better and then what we can do is check out sunset anime um just want to just check something because i want to study it yeah i thought so yeah so we need to get the mooding in and then we just need to create the rest of it ourselves so yeah i'm uh i could post my manga drawing yeah feel free post post your art all you want we can show it, uh, just say wherever you want to show it off and we'll show off your works. That's what we do here. We want to we we wanna share. We're, we're a sharing lot, we are. Um, right, maybe just... Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're going to do this in layers. And we're going to go white. And we're going to get spray can for this. And we are going to go 2000 first. Drop it down. And in the next one... Uh, next bit will be uh, more yellowy so we're just looking at that and then we're going to go smaller and then just sort of that's it and then just a little bit more and then there we go and then edit copy no nope. edit redo edit copy edit paste and then what we've got to do is turn it to an additive glow Awesome. Turn it down a little bit. Sort of about there. And then kind of do that. That's it. And then stop. There we go. Right. And then just sort of. And then just again. And then smaller. There we go. Awesome. So we've got that. And now we're going to do some clouds. So layer. New raster layer. Now we have got my own way of doing clouds at this point. So we are going to... I think we're going to go for the textures first. Because I am experimenting with new ideas with clouds. But yeah. So we want to go a little bit purple, pinkish. So we want to go a little bit like this and then just sort of, that's it. Now we want to go pink clouds for a reason. And then just sort of, there we go. There we go, just sort of, that's it. And then just sort of, awesome. Awesome. So... So I do like the idea of starting off with this sort of that and then go for like a orange sort of blend it in a little bit 
from where the sun's going to be hitting it. And we're going to go with a smaller brush and just sort of like that. And then sort of, that's it. And then, and then just sort of, that's it. And then, awesome. And actually go deeper than that. No, go more saturated. That's what I wanted to do. Go full on saturation with this. Just sort of, that's it. And then just sort of, that's it, awesome. And then go a little bit thicker and just sort of, that's it. Just blend it a little bit. And then that's it. Just go that and then smaller, just sort of. No, a little bit bigger and just sort of, that's it. Because what we want to do is just blend it in a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Then make it tinsy a bit smaller. Stop. So as you can see, I'm going to build out those clouds. And then once I'm do it, I think I'm going to go for a darkened effect. And just sort of, that's it. That's it. That's awesome. And then get the rubber. And then get the soft line. And just sort of, that's it. And then that's it. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. That's what I wanted to do. Get that sort of little bit of an effect going. Like that. And then just sort of. There we go. Awesome. And then we're going to go for a darken effect. Very. Hmm. Maybe not that. Multiply. No. Color burn. Maybe not. Lighten, no. Additive glow. Okay, maybe keep to normal. Maybe duplicate it. Edit. Edit. Copy. Edit. Paste. And then darken. That's it. Darken. And then fade that a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That's what I was after. But yeah, let's have a look. See if you posted your art. So, this is one of the people that comes to my art lessons. Um, this is Fender's art. Ah! Oh, oh, you've been doing some paneling! Nice! Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Um, that is pretty good. Nice. I've seen some of these before. That's really good. I like that. And done some kanji as well, which is pretty good. Dude, you're doing pretty nice, dude. Can't, can't wait to see more more from you. Like any new artwork, just slam it on there. In the next stream, we'll, uh, we'll be looking at your artwork. But awesome. Thumbs up from me. This looks pretty good. Uh... Put it up on stream. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I'll put your art up on stream. I'm not sure if you did. You watch me? Uh, did you did you see me look at your Pokemon one? And then I found the Space Marine in the end, which uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that broke me a little bit. It gave me a good old giggle. Um, right, first off, we are gonna do the butterfly. Now, what color should I do its wings? I think we're gonna go pure white, and then we'll build up the wings from there. I think that's what we're gonna do and honestly i am going to obviously get the rubber just fix that a little bit and then obviously we're gonna fix these edges a little bit i don't like the way these edges are thickening a little bit actually i think there is a way to fix this i think yeah i don't know why it's done this sort of weird thing around it but what we're gonna do then yeah, let's notice what he's done there. And then just sort of click that. And then just sort of, that's it. Awesome. Okay, cool. So I think we got a way to do it. Correction. Uh, adjust line width. And uh, we can actually narrow it. 
and we can actually sort of narrow it a little bit there we go do it by one pixel and then all we have to do is just do some clean up work here and there just like there we go yeah because now i've narrowed it it's actually cleaned up the line work quite a bit yep no, that looks absolutely fine i'm happy with that and now we can just get some white to start doing that and then we're going to lock the layer probably and then start working on it right let's get this head done as well there we go just do his little little bibbly bits uh space marine i think you're mistaken that's some oh cedras <laughs> hold, on, hold on let me have a relook at that one because i swear to god it looked like a space marine um where are you gb concept art art, art challenge no it's not art challenge uh poster art here there you go oh what's happening to you no what have i done what have i done i've been a fool i think i've just done something stupid <laughs> i did something oh stupid oh there we go nope yay just that's it boof there we go <laughs> i did love it really stupid there we go right see new chat there we go right and then with that there we go awesome uh make the chat a bit bigger make this a little smaller there we go awesome now i've got my uh got my cue and everything right so we're, we're gonna have a look at this Ooh, tundra is what you got a decent tundra picture here as well look at that pretty i love that right <laughs> right yeah see this i got space marine vibes from your cedra because he's got like the big shoulder panels of the space marine and a bolt pistol I think that's why I got the Space Marine vibe. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but you see where I got like the Space Marine vibe from, right? Now now I see the Cedra. All I saw at the time was the Space Marine armor. Where you had like the purity seals there, the bolt gun. <laughs> but yeah. Oh god, that's funny. I actually mistook that for a Space Marine. That is actually funny. Oh, look, hold up. And this one he's done as well. Nice, nice. There we go. And then make that bigger. And then, there we go. Oh, it's definitely space, based on a space marine. I started drawing Cedras and then I spat out of control. <laughs> I could tell how much you spat out of control, JP. Right, we're going to lock this layer. And now I'm going to use a spray can. And I think we're going to go with green butterfly wings. I think that's going to be the... Uh, that's going to be the go-to. So we're going to get my spray can. And my spray can is not doing... Oh, it's because I like the layer, not the, not the colouring side of it. Right, there we go. And just sort of... That's it. And then just do that. And then... And then get the white. And then we're going to push it back a little bit. Well, I'll push it back a little bit. Just like that. And then sort of, that's it. Make it smaller. And then go for like a darker color at the edges here. And then go for like a little bit brighter. Go for a smaller and just sort of, there we go. And then inside the wing where there's lines, we are actually going to hand color that red because what i want to do is kind of give like a little bit of a pattern vibe so it just looks like it's actually like a natural occurring pattern there we go it's like designing like wing designs for uh that what's that pokemon called the butterfly because there's a butterfly one where you got like different wings for different regions i can't remember what it's called Ah, there's so many butterfly Pokemon. I keep actually forgetting all their names. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Awesome. Uh, hold on. Edit. Undo. Yeah, because I kind of just 
Realise I goofed that. There we go. Look at that. Look at my butterfly. My butterfly looks beautiful. It's beautiful. It's true. There we go. And then just make the body darker. There we go. Just make the little ears. There we go. But yeah, it's, it's definitely... <laughs> He did kind of, that's why I thought it was a space marine. I thought it was like, like a Templar gone rogue. And instead of going after like heretics, it's going after Pokemon. It's like, I hate Pokemon. They need to be eliminated for the Emperor. Oh God. There we go. Awesome. And then just sort of, just do these little lines on its body. And just sort of, there we go. Little specks. There we go. That looks pretty good, actually. I'm really happy with how that butterfly. And it kind of resonates with the background as well because of the red parts of its wings. So I kind of like the vibe that's giving. It's giving that sort of um, that natural vibe about it. And because that's like a cherry blossom tree as well, it's kind of giving like the clouds a bit more like, you know. Hey, Bo! Long time no see! How you been doing? <laughs> if you're gonna tell me if you're gonna hold on hold on we're gonna have to do oh no i don't I can't do space marine voice because my voice mod ain't working yeah no i'll be doing all right um you ah god uh how's how's life been treating you i haven't heard from you in god knows how long just doing some concept of uh one of my characters from my manga series jasper today because uh you know like when you have an oc bo bo would know how i feel about this when you have a character that needs more love and attention, I'm kind of giving those characters those those characters I don't give much love and attention to concept art wise some love and attention now. So, <laughs> but yeah, and I, I kind of wanted to do Jasper for a long time, but I wanted to do instead of something battle and cool with him, I kind of wanted to get him out of that and go, what would be ja what would Jasper be like outside of battle, like. It will probably spend time, you know, in a piece and all that crap. So <laughs> I hid myself away for a few months off the grid to work on some bits. Ooh, does that mean, Bo, you have some bits to show off, if you don't mind me asking? If you do, you can share it on my Discord. Um, it, Well, you can share, share it on the public Discord, if you know what I mean, if there's no spoilers. But yeah, uh, right, we need to open a old, old concept art. Well, not old, but oldish. <laughs> Where are you? Yes, there we go. Awesome. That's what I needed to pick up. Oh, oh, is this is this the Echo uh, Echo Vile novel novel that you've been working on for God knows how long? That one. Oh, guys, you're in for a treat. <laughs> it's qu it's quite funny actually because. I've just finished volume five and now you've come and gone, hey, I've nearly done with Echoville. And it's like, oh, sweet. But uh, but yeah, um, if you've got some drawings, if you want to share for it, feel free to drop it in. If it's non-spoilery, obviously. But yeah. It's my art. Yeah, your art's good, mate. Your art's very good. We, we've had, we had, we had a good... Oh, have you posted more? No, yeah, we've seen all of it. It's all good. Yeah, you slap it on there like no to us. Like, I've got our channel. Slap it all on. Yeah, I'm like that. Don't worry, mate. I, I kind of have to look for all my best works and go, right, I'm going to show them off. It's actually a written novel uh, I have completed, so there isn't much art for it. Nah, fair enough. I just thought you might want to, like, show some art, so, you know, give, give these lovely people a bit of a sneaky pee. A little bit of a self-promote. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sound like an orc. It's like, you've got to give them a little bit of the sneaky peeks. Get them a little, get their appetite moist. <laughs> that sounded wrong. That sounded really wrong. I stopped myself right there. I went, that sounded bad, didn't it? <laughs> I was like, yep. Yep, map. You, that sounded really bad. But yeah. Uh, I have plenty of uh, new Echo Veal bits on my Insta. Uh, yeah, uh, Bo, feel free to slam your Instagram on here. Uh, please check out Bo. I've known this artist for a long time. He has a wicked art style. 
um definitely uh definitely drop him drop him a follow seriously keep an eye on his content he's got a written novel coming up and it is echo vile and you need to go check it out because i it was originally going to be a comic wasn't it and then you changed it out to a novel so yeah there we go and sorry just a while to fix these bits here I want to fix these little bits here. Maybe if I make the pen bigger, it would make it better. There we go. But yeah, uh, I might do a comic too. Ooh, Anime Con was good. It was really good. Um, the table was a bit expensive, but I actually managed to make it back and made a little profit off the table. So that was pretty good, though. Um, but yeah, uh, we we had a really good time there. Um, like <laughs> bad accommodation, but that was due to our part, not oh, Booking.com's part, really. But the rest of it was really good. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, Bo. Think of how MCM used to be when it was really good, and I mean, you know, when they actually looked after their artists and not got stuck up towards certain artists. Um, you know, before basically before Repop that was anime con um it what it's not a huge con it was the first of its own con if you know what i mean like this was the first of this company that made this company made and it was really good i even met, met the voice actress for naruto yeah the golden age of cons yeah you bo knows exactly what i mean when, when i say pre-repop mcm everyone goes oh yeah pre-repop mcm was a lot better and they treat their artists with respect by the way, Bo, I am going to give you a little heads up. Uh, Megacon's coming to London, and it's the guy who used to run. Um, uh, yeah, happy to hear that you broke even. Honestly, hearing that you would do so well uh, makes makes uh, makes merch makes me want to do start making my seriously. J uh, JP, um, do it seriously. It is awesome. I have been going for like seventeen years, uh, but yeah, the ch yeah, change is real. I, I, you started going for me, and I think it was through you, I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just letting you know, Bo. Um, if I can, if I, I probably, if it's successful down there, and they keep doing MegaCon down London, I might just leave MCM in the dirt. Because uh, I'm not sure if you heard, but they've not been letting me in since they since Repot took over. <laughs> yeah, they've been very uh, e yeah, weird towards me. <laughs> uh, this is me putting it politely guys about mcm repop um but yeah yeah exactly um but yeah oh let's have a look at your art let's have a look Bo, if you don't what's going on here sorry i'm just looking at the discord and i don't think it's shown the image let's have a look Oh, right. I think you might need to resave these as JPEGs, mate, or PG, uh, PNGs. Yeah, let's show. Right, let's, have, let's open up my Adobe Photoshop. I think... Yeah. <coughs> you might need to resave these images as PNGs and JPEGs. Um, because sometimes uh Discord cannot pick up on certain type of images. But yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, I've seen this one, I think. Yeah, that looks really cool, man. By the way, Bo, this is uh this is the same this is one of the kids who come to my art lessons in uh movie shack. Um but yeah, so there you go. But yeah. So I think I know what's been happening here. So yeah, you might, like I say, you might need to resave these as different image types. And let's open this. I think I could open it. Let's open it on Firefox. There we go. Uh, that's the other half of his picture. And then, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, this is one of the kids, come, one of the kids that come to my art lessons. Absol he's absolutely a phenomenal artist. And he's only just started secondary school and he understands uh, color theory and everything already. Like, seriously, watch out uh, Watch out for Fender. 
seriously, I could see him growing into his own one day as an artist. So he's he's very young, but he's got very big potential. I'm just going to say this right now. You've got a big compliment from me. So, <laughs> so Fender. Uh, but J yeah, J uh, JP, feel but do it. Um, yeah, I fixed it. Yeah, that's fine. There you go. Right. So this is one of the ki uh, kids that come to my art lesson. I mean, for someone his age, that is really well done. Like I say, you have got big potential, mate. And I can't wait to see you grow. Like, if you end up making your own manga, let me know. Seriously, dude, I can give you some real big tips and tricks um, about making your own manga and getting it out there and stuff like that. This is really good, dude. Like, seeing this as a whole, you've done really well, mate. Seriously, I'm actually super impressed. But yeah, there we go. Awesome. But yeah, anyways, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I, I was supposed to draw, and I'm getting really distracted. But yeah, anyways, Bo, what else have you been up to, by the way? If you don't mind me asking. Right, this is all coloured in. This is something I like about Jasper. Jasper is so easy to colour. Uh, he's one of my most easy to color characters because he's actually very simple in design. Um, when you guys, uh, I'm hoping. So MC, MCM, if I get in, which I probably won't be able to get in, because uh, like I say they've been funny towards me. Or I'm hoping once I move, if I have spare holiday, I'm looking at MegaCon London. I am having a good look at that, and I'm thinking. Once I move, once I get my mortgage settled, I may, if it's not too late, get a table at Megacon. Um, because it's, you know, because I know it's the guy who used to run MCM, so so I'm like, yeah, I think I might have to go with him. But yeah, so there we go. And then just sort of, awesome. And then take the hat on. And then what I do is, is get the rubber and then get it big. And then just sort of tidy up bits here and there. There we go. Sort of, that's it. Awesome. There we go. But yeah, I'm thinking of that. But for now, I haven't got much else to do. Um, thank you for the hydrate. Um, I'm going to post the original on Discord. Yeah, feel free to post the original, man. Have to... Yeah, spam as much art in there as you want. Bo, you can feel free to do the same. I like I like doing a bit of show and tell with um right is the is the time lapse on? Yes, time lapse is on. Good. Good, good. <laughs> um there we go. I can just sort of and then Oh Oh by the way, uh Bo, you don't know this. Um I'm gonna do that as complete because I have had a little sip complete. Go. I need to refill. But um but yeah, Bo, I do D and D now. I am a DM. I am a forever DM now. So and a lot of my stuff is based on my books world stuff actually, so since I've got like a lot to pull from. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know. Oh, edit undo. Oh Bo, um if you want to teach art lessons yourself, uh pop over to the movie shack um in Bexy Heath. Have a chat with them. And I believe, uh, as long as it's original content, you can sell your art there as well. Or sell books that you've done. Um, the, the Zombie Escape one. I'm um, talking about, like... Because I know you might have done some others since. But, yeah. But I'm just letting you know... Uh, <laughs> like, you know, if you want to do art lessons and earn a little bit more on the side, feel free to do that. Um, actually... I would like to do a collab art lesson with somebody one day. So they can actually learn from another artist, like a different art style. Because um, we attract like adults and kids alike. Oh no. I'm guessing you can't make any more? I'm assuming. Because uh, they had this cool little comic, like How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. I've still got your book to this day, Bo. I've still got that book to this day, and it's really funny. But yeah. Uh, I'm not a local, but sure, I could pop in for a session. Yeah, I'll let I'll, I'll have a chat with them because um, I might be running, uh, like say, a little beta read 
which also is going to be a little fundraiser for the store as well. So, um, yeah, keep your eye out because I might invite you as a special guest. It's disconnected, uh, so we didn't work with the publisher anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because that this is a little story. So, this is how me and Bo met. So, me, Bo, I believe, Bo, you tracked me down, didn't you? And you found I had my own manga series. And you invited me to come join you. I like to be honest, I was really nervous. So, we had a meeting that I, I wrote down loads of questions for. Because I was a bit like, you know, you know, am I still going to have my copyright? You know, I, there was a lot of stuff I was really worried about, honestly. Because <laughs> the problem is, I've heard a lot of horror stories. So, yeah, I, you was a talent scout for an indie publisher. That was it. And I, and then uh, soon as I was like, oh, yeah, I might be going with an indie publisher. I remember I, I was talking to Bo a few months later. And Bo turned around and said to me, uh, the company just... I think the company was it the company went under or you left? I can't remember. I, it was something along them lines, but <laughs> but yeah, I remember that much. But that's how we mean by. I appreciate your encouragement for me making merch, but don't worry, I have. Uh... Oh, do no. JP? No, 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 no. You do, you do have a strong enough style. I'm sorry, but I will. Sorry for the long message. I, I will kick your butt for saying that. I will go over your house right now and kick your ass. <laughs> you 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 do. Mate, you, you you do have a strong enough style, trust me. Like I have seen a lot more um rough art styles out there, and trust me, and people evolve over the years. Like Bo will tell you, like you with your with your caliber of art, JP, you are I would say definitely more than ready for a con. Um, and to be honest, the true judges of that will be people who will come to your store and that. Um, the only thing I would say is be confident. Um, don't sit there and expect sales to happen. What you would have to either fish for customers or you kind of try and engage in conversation with them and stuff like that. Um, because obviously part of going to a con um, something I've learned is you, you just gotta, gotta be a bit of a salesman. But yeah. Did you feel that paint, did you feel that with a paint bucket? Um no, no. Uh yeah, I did 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 paint bucket, yeah. I have a neat trick for that. Ooh. Tell me. Give me your wisdom, Bo. Give it to me now. I just want Discord to get the top. Oh, so this is now versus yeah here we go so this is him in january in 2023 this is him now you've grown so much mate i'll tell you mate just comparing it it's bloody brilliant mate seriously done really well you're growing but yeah tell tell me tell give me uh give me your almighty mighty advice bo bo I'm here. Give me the almighty advice. Or I will come for you. <laughs> so you can imagine me. I'll just be like a mobster. You give me your advice now or I'll come for you. <laughs> if you select the outside area that you want to paint. So not the area you want black. Then select reverse. Then heal. Oh. All the little pixel bits that get left over won't appear. Hold on. Right, so let me let me just draw the line I want to do first, and then we'll follow your thing because this this sounds like a trick. Because to be honest, I've been for ages trying to now find a tool that doesn't do that. But if you got a trick, I'll take that trick. It means I don't have to go around looking for tools, which you can do on Clip Studio because there are. I think there is certain tools for this job, but yeah. There we go. There we go. And then... So, right. Let me just do that for the basic. Right. So, your fill trick. Oh, um, no, 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 no. I'll tell you what, Bo. If you want to jump on mic, uh, go, go for it. Because we've got about 30 minutes. Uh, hold on. Let me jump on the live draw chat. 
And come on, Bo, because you, you've been my guest before. You should be allowed on the live draw chat. So, there you go. Uh, right, I've got to visit settings, apparently. Um, Yeti. There we go. Done. So, my voice is done. Exit. So, yeah, Bo, uh, if you go on my Discord and jump onto the live draw chat of my VTLS Discord, you can just... It, um. Yeah, yeah, it's just Mike. It's just Mike. Don't worry. There's no camera. Don't worry. I won't. I won't show you your, uh, your, your uh, indecentness. <laughs> no, no. No one was frozen. Hold on. No, it's fine. Sorry. It's because I was <laughs> JP. I think I was so focused on the thing. It looks like I was frozen. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll keep drawing out the lines I want to. There we go. And then just sort of, there we go. And then, yeah, because I always have trouble with these things with the, with the line, with the inner thing. But I have found ways around it lately, but it's just a lot of it involves like different tools and playing with the settings like constantly just to sort of get it right. But yeah, it's just chat. It, it is just a chat thing, so... If you want to jump on the VTS Discord, hold on, Bo. I don't think you're on my new Discord, so let's just slide the link. There you go. Awesome. There you go. Awesome. Do, 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 do. Oh, God, this music's fucking tune. Very relaxing. I need this anyways. Right, let's go to do this arm here. Slip it into the elbow there. And then we'll just sort of all Serena. Hold on, we're just going to... Cause, yeah, because that's going to have to come around there. And then just sort of... And then... Awesome. And then just sort of... There we go. And then... And then we're going to do... Just protect the edges go trust me this will all make sense in a moment there we go and then just thicken that line up a little bit because that's where like the underneath finger is gonna be and then just do that awesome and then one more time one more time do the time warp let's do the time warp again do, 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 do. put your hands on your hips Sorry, that song is now in my head. It's like, God damn it, the song's in my head, boy. Um, yeah, so Bo, you should be a part of my group now. Now let me have a look, see if you're on here. Right, one, spring. We are gonna promote you to T Cultist. We are ready to turn you to T Cultist now. Here we go. T Cultist. There we go. Uh Bo, where are you on here? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're on purple, so you should be able to jump on my live chat. Yeah, see, oh. Jock. Hello. Yes, you're on. Welcome. <laughs> How Let you me, been? Let me just mute your uh, other one, because I've got both of you going on. Oh. That's better. Because uh, I had the window on the on the laptop as well. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I've got a bunch of updates. It's been a while since I've used Discord, so... Yes. Um, yeah. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you okay. Awesome. Um, let me just pop up your window. Hold on. Let Try me it. get the Discord up on here because I do mute it sometimes. Properties. <laughs> Where's my Discord? There we go. You, like, Bo, could you speak for us now? Hello, hello. Yep, everyone can hear you now. Cool. <laughs> there we go. Check so, no? um,. Apologies if you can hear the. F I've got a fan like blasting right next to my face because it's boiling hot. Um, yeah, I do not do well in the heat whatsoever. <sighs> um, so yeah, you're using Clip Studio, which um, yep. I, I use religiously for everything now. Oh god, um, yeah. And there's a couple of things that I do that I've kind of just noticed where I do a lot of fill color. I, yeah. I usually fill it in with a brush, but it's the same as clicking it with a paintbrush. Uh, with a paint bucket. Yep. But, um, your shading lines, are they done on a separate layer? I just can't yes. see from... Oh, okay, yes. cool. 
perfect so all you have to do is draw your your line area and yes. usually you would click the bucket inside the area yes. um, but instead grab your wand tool okay there should be the the wand tool is your friend trust me i use it for everything <laughs> the wand uh, you want to click do you want to click the wand tool outside of that zone okay like that so anything but that zone yeah yeah okay. so click it there somewhere uh okay. is that all live in the same layer yeah hold on it is i oh you mean like yeah no now i've got no for your, for your for your shading layer yeah is your shading so layer refer in the to same editing one? layer uh, only there we go yeah 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 <laughs> So if you go, yeah, that's it. Cool. And then go up to the top. There'll be a select bar. Yeah. Because it's just gonna. What you've done at the moment is select everything that's not what you want to color. So if okay. you go into select and do invert selected area. Oh. Which is like the fourth one down. Yeah. Yeah. Done. So now it's it's so uh, let me just explain the difference before you fill this in. So basically, what you're doing with a paint bucket is you're going, I want this area that I've drawn out with my pixels. I'm going to fill it with this bucket. And the reason why you get pixelation in some parts or some bits not fully colored is because there are pixels between you, what you're trying to fill and the lines that you've drawn. But what oh. your selection tool has done is it selected everything outside of your lines. So now when you're filling it, you're filling everything from the outside of your lines inwards which means you don't get any pixelation because it's covering anything that would have got pixelated beforehand, if that makes sense, in a really long roundabout way. That's just blown my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a small thing, but when you're doing like, you know, some of my shading layers are like four, five shading layers higher, yeah. then that that causes big aggro because then you don't even know what shading layer you need to fix. Um, yes. But this kind of gets rid of that because you just select the zone, reverse it, and then it will fill any of those gaps, especially when you've got like a lot of zigzaggy things. I yes. imagine that probably causes you a lot of grief. So, oh god, yeah, hell of a lot. <laughs> I mean, you you see my shading style, so <laughs> yeah, this it will save you a lot of a lot of going back and tweaking bits and pieces for sure. Oh, this is brilliant. This is the best tip I ever got. Thank you. That's okay. You know you do... I've been <laughs> I've been trying to find. You do need to make sure to invert it though. <laughs> yeah, I will do. I'm just going to have to draw in the top bits now because if I'm going to have to use this tool for now on, I'm going to have to make sure everything is filled. Okay, cool. I'm going to do this a little bit by hand because that's uh -huh. not going to catch that. So anything on You can do this for block color as well. Like I, I do it really for coloring more than anything because my shading style is a little bit different to yours. Oh, God, um, yeah. But for really block are. color, I just go through, yeah, I go through all of my line art select everything that's outside of the line art and then just go cool invert block color Ooh. cool that's my silhouette and now i can just keep stacking colors on top of it Ooh, this is pretty good right yeah. so i need to block this off obviously because that's where the hand is that's where the finger is now i've got to do this for the knuckle so now i've got to go through everything and just go right i've got to make sure it's not touching any of this right now if we use the magic wand yeah, for some some of your scenarios, it it might not be beneficial, no. um, or you might go, oh, I've not I've not linked these lines up together, and therefore that's going to cause me ag or whatever. But it would probably cause no more different ag than if you were going to try and fill it with a paint bucket the other way around, I would imagine. Oh so, god, yeah, this this is going to be. Did you, oh right, let's have a look at this. I'm going to have to keep this off screen because I don't know with the dark humor how risky we can get on there. <laughs> no I can't say that on here but <laughs> tender <laughs> um, check the dark humour part of my discord dark humour where am I wow your discord's grown dark jokes and memes is it this one yeah it's the, it's the what Jet Fender said and my face just went oh <laughs> I can't say it out loud, but it gave me a giggle. Uh, I'm trying to load it, but I feel like it's trying to play catch up with yeah, everything that's, that's been posted since. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I can't say it out loud, um, but yeah, I laughed. 
Oh. 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 <laughs> now you know why I can't say it out loud. Jesus. <laughs> to be honest, I've heard a lot worse than those sorts of jokes about that certain subject. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I think the darkest I could go is like the Steve Irwin joke that I know. I know I could get away with that. <laughs> hey, do you want to hear it? Sure. So, uh, Steve Irwin, we know he always loved the uh, Thunderbirds, but um, Stingray was always in his heart. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, the guy did do a lot. I, I do have a twisted sense of humor, by the way, guys. I do respect the guy, by the way. But um, you should have heard when, what happened when, when we found out one of the Chuckle Brothers died. Oh, God, the jokes I came out with. <laughs> You and Chris are kind of on the same. You got yeah. the same humor, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. It's Bless. just just me and my mate. We're like spitting these jokes out, and uh, but but we sent our mate laughing in tears. And it was just like she was laughing. But Sato was like, "Stop! You're making me cry." <laughs> we were just laughing our heads off. But um, but yeah, how is Chris doing? By the way, I haven't heard from him. In yeah, time. he's good. He he got married. Um, like not even a month ago. Like, really recent. Oh, God. He, he yeah. adulted like I did? Yeah. Like, this... I mean, I, I said I disappeared and stuff, but um, I went a little bit off-grid because I think algorithms and all that kind of stuff, sometimes they're just a bit like, nah, it's a bit naff. I'd rather just be doing artwork and enjoying myself than worrying about the social media aspect of it. Uh, okay. um, but truth be told, this year has been super hella busy. So I had... Um, I, obviously I was best man for the wedding so I had to organise the stag I had to help yeah. with the wedding prep um, on top of that whilst I was organising the stag before it actually happened um, I went to Japan um, which was a massive holiday that I'd saved up for um, so we went over for two weeks That's and good. it honestly I want to move there it was absolutely amazing um, I, I would love to challenge anyone to try and do as much as I did in two weeks that I was there we were on our feet. <laughs> I kid you not, we were on our feet from like 6, 7 a.m. We're back at the hotel at midnight. Um, it was just oh, like yeah. batters of forwards, batters of forwards. It was 40,000 steps plus like every single day. Feet were oh, just God. killing us. We saw so much. We traveled from like one end to the other. Um, yeah, honestly, it was unreal. Absolutely unreal. But then I came <laughs> back and then two weeks later I had to do the stag and organize oh, all that so it's been very very hectic basically i can imagine jesus sadly yeah. for me i couldn't afford to get off social media so i had to relearn the algorithm <laughs> yeah i've just popped back on recently but also i, I kind of um oh, in a weird roundabout way i thought if because the, the thing that stops me doing my book is the artwork right i'm always going to be doing drawings and commissions and other bits like that so i thought yeah if I just take a step back from doing art for fun, like my own stuff, um, okay. and I only take on commission work when I get it, because when I get a commission, I near enough can finish it on the same day if the person's available for like feedback and stuff. Yeah. Um, so if I've got like a free day and then I get a commission, I'm like, cool, I'll, I'll get that start to finish, usually done in the same day, maybe a weekend. Yeah. Um, so I took that on because obviously artists need to eat. Um, oh, yeah. But I basically stopped myself from doing any art that was for fun because I wanted to force myself to get the book done. I realized yeah. it was probably a very unhealthy thing to do. Um, no, I know that vibe. <laughs> I, I was crunching on the last half of volume five because like... Yeah, I, I mean, for, you, for your, your book, you're still drawing. For me, it's like this was a written novel, so I wasn't yeah. allowed to do any drawing. Um, it, it didn't help because basically what, what I'd come across is I didn't feel like um, writing some days. Felt like drawing, but kind of told myself that I shouldn't. Um, yeah. And then also I was trying to majorly cut down on, you know, the things that you do for fun, like your gaming and TV and films. So I was kind of like really cutting back on that to be like, yeah. no, you have stuff to do. You need to get it done. But what I did is I create, I made it too much of a chore. Um, yeah. Didn't enjoy it as much. And then the second I, what do you call it? Like, went easier on myself all of a sudden the pages just started flowing out so yeah yeah i, th I think we're we're at 303 pages Ooh. um 
it's yeah it's as beefy as i wanted it to be now so i'm happy that i've kind of got there um it's technically a book isn't a novel until it's more than fifty thousand words and we've passed that benchmark um Ooh. and i kind of wanted it to be a novel just because a novel sounds cooler than calling it a novella or whatever else um or a short yeah. story or something and and because i'm gonna look into tra traditional publishing hopefully i wanted it to be a certain size a certain depth and you know so it could be taken a bit more seriously in that kind of aspect um and now uh, i've got a team of beta readers that are reading through it to to check any loopholes and gaps and stuff oh well, like spelling mistakes all that sort of shit essentially well i'm leaving the spelling mistakes for now i have got some like proofreaders that are going to go through that but the beta readers are basically reading it and going this part's kind of boring or the pace of this is too fast or I don't really understand and that all oh, this is over described that kind of thing like how well the book comes across to your average reader basically so um, yeah make sure are, you, formula. are you used beta reading for spell checks because <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I have a very specific vision in mind if you know what I mean what yeah I think is? I think for manga it's I mean you could have beta readers for a manga but I feel like most stuff you need for manga is is the spelling of the dialogue correct yeah. um there's not going to be many people i think any like i can give my book to hundreds of people and if they turn around and go you've written this bit terribly um you need to be a better writer at this i'll go yeah okay but if i gave my artwork out to 100 people to analyze and they went you didn't draw this very good i'd be like mm, actually i think i did <laughs> I feel yeah. like it'd be very difficult to take criticisms from you know, unless it was a small group of people that I trust that they would know anatomy, lighting, and everything else better than me. Yeah, um, exactly. And yeah, but in that industry, it's probably a little bit more difficult to get feedback for. Yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, nice! You got a bit of a collection, mate. <laughs> so, that our, our, our young artist here has got a big manga collection in the manga anime section. Um. Yeah, I have to admit, with, with art, unless someone knows the story from inside out, because there's only a very few select people who are my friend circle who I've told all my story to, I think you've only got bits and segments of what I'm going to do as well. Yeah, my stuff's probably really outdated as well. Like, you've probably changed a lot of things since, to be honest. Oh, God, yeah. Like, the main core of it mostly remains the same. I will say that. But how it's going to get there has kind of shifted a bit since mm. my younger years because yeah. obviously i was I've, I've told you i was gonna jump to the next art after the bounty hunters even mm -hmm. though it's gonna be a racial art but i actually stopped and thought to myself i thought no too many animes and mangas do this so instead volume five actually focuses on the aftermath of the bounty hunters how the characters are feeling how they're reacting and i've explored some really deep topics like um without saying anything to spoil the book um all the main characters are going through their own thing after the bounty hunter arc essentially mm. um but yeah um obviously obviously uh spoiler alert, i'm gonna say this out loud so spoiler alert in i think uh fender's already read volume three but um rang fang's got rain fang will be suffering from ptsd so it's exploring that aspect of it from a certain action he did in the volume. Uh, Kaz is trying to find a way to be normal again without spoiling too much. Um, Nikaya blames himself for everything that's happened. So he's now trying to get through that. And then Jess is trying to feel back in control, which again, without spoiling um, for those who haven't read all the volumes um stuff like that so there's going to be a volume or two focusing on their training and how they get through that or at least cope with that is, is the minimal word since mental health has been a big spill lately so it's a bit like oh i could take advantage of this and do my research because <laughs> actually some of it is about stuff i'm gonna relate to so <laughs> So yeah, yeah. I think I think touching on mental health and stuff is is quite important for storytelling. Yeah. Um, in general, to be honest, 
I haven't, I haven't really got too many topics. I mean, maybe a couple things, but yeah, you've got to get that stuff right because you don't want to end up, um, yeah, like negatively impacting that group that associate with that, you know, whatever yeah. it may be. Yeah. Yeah, because I do feel like in a lot of animes and mangas, they don't really explore the consequences of that for each character very much. And there's mm. only very few mangas and animes that do that, if you know what I mean. Like, Yeah, true. Yeah, you know, facing up, I'm not sure if you read my, vo my other volumes, but going up against what they've gone up against, there's going to be fucking consequences. No matter how you're going to, you know, look at it, if you know what I mean from an angle. Yeah, like, definitely. Like, if you were in that position, would you really be going, hey, let's uh, move on to the next thing? No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, I've, the, I've got two... Um, the, my main my main story is, like, four books long. Um, yeah. As in, like, four written novels long. So if that was in manga terms, probably ten, ten books per season, four seasons long. Let's yeah. just say hypothetically. Um, there are two spin-off... Um, series or like one-offs um yeah. and they are about two characters that i realized are not necessarily strong i mean they are struggling basically one of them is about a good guy um yeah. that has a very troubled past and i was like we should show his past and show actually he was a terrible person and that stuff kind of scarred him and shaped him to be a good person um yeah. And he's like one of the nicest people. So when you're reading your book, you're like, oh my God, that's like my father figure type character. Like he's the best. Yeah. And then you read the, the, his, you know, the story that's from his past and you're like, no, these are not the same people, surely. Um, and then I've done another one that's kind of the, the flip of that, which is someone who is so psycho, um, so, you know, um, genocidal and psychotic. Um, but then you get her backstory, and she doesn't. She's not a good guy <laughs> that turns bad or anything. But you see all of the stuff that she grows up with, and the problems she had with her family and her predecessors, and all of that kind of stuff. And you're like, oh, do you know what? Yeah, like no wonder, out of wonder. all those guys, you didn't come out that bad, considering like yeah. you know the context compared to all the good guys is yes, you're you're completely insane. When you pair up against the rest of the family, you're like, actually, you're the one that has a little bit of logic. Mm. But yeah, no, I get you. Because um, it is the sort of the whole one bad day thing, isn't it? Like the Joker's point with Batman, isn't it? It just takes one bad day for you to turn. <laughs> well, except yeah, for your true. character. A bunch of bad days. <laughs> I'm yeah, guessing. I mean, yeah, she, she's got like a whole bad lineage, basically. It's like three generations of messed up um, yeah. that cause it. But like Keeve's story, for example, he's, I mean... He's literally like the nicest guy around. Um, but the backstory shows that actually he was like, he was the worst of the worst and he only changed his ways um, because of like, you know, spoilers and stuff, but because of a certain thing that happens in the story or a certain person, should I say, um, yeah. makes him completely change his perspective of things and realizes that he's he's got to do better. Yeah, got to be a better person, basically. Yeah. I mean, technically, Keeve as well, as a little bit of background lore, is, is not actually his name. Um, oh. It's, <laughs> he, he, technically, his name is never mentioned, um, his real name. So in the main story, everyone just knows him as Keeve and they think that's his name. In the backstory, um, Keith is actually the name of someone that he kills. And oh. Yeah, he basically says when he kills the, the guy that's apparently bad and he isn't he's just being controlled by something he says you know i really don't want um i really don't want to go down in history as this this bad guy like i didn't i didn't do anything wrong i was controlled and stuff um yeah. but you know he's worried that he's going to go down in history books as a bad person and he's like can you ensure for me that that doesn't happen so when he goes back to the mainland and he's being pestered about who he really is and stuff because he's never used his name he uses the person's Jeez. name that he killed and then he starts doing good things so that the history books will be written that this guy you know his name went down as doing good stuff oh but That's even though it's cool. not him yeah even though it's not him the history books will say oh you know keith was a great man and he saved loads of people and he did this and did that 
So he he took it in a literal sense that he wanted his name to be remembered fondly and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and that's literally the only reason why he becomes, or you know, that amongst a couple of other things, but that's the reason why he becomes a good guy. Ah. Okay. He's like, oh, I kind of I owe it to this guy now because you know this was his dying wish, and I I was the reason why he died and stuff. So Might I guess well. I'll um I'll make him. I'll make him go down in history as, uh, you know, the best guy or whatever, so. Ooh. Hold on, undo. There we go. Sorry, I just realised I didn't do undo his pit. <laughs> right, it is hitting 10 o'clock now, guys. We are going to have to raid and end the stream. So, <laughs> sorry about this, guys. Hold on, I'm going to drop bucket that. Hold on, behave. There we go. Telling tell thing to behave. There we go, edit undo. Right, let's find somebody to read. The manga you saw as the manga uh, waiting to be read. I just posted the rest of my collection. Ooh, nice. We'll take a look at that later on because we are going to sadly have to raid somebody now. So let's see yes. who's online. Let's buy you got a recommendation. Um, oh, I did, and they just went offline. They were just streaming. Oh. Um, I don't, unfortunately. There's not many people on right now. Right, I'll look on my end because I do always try to find new people to raid. Uh, because my stream deck's going a bit funny again. Oh, oh, let's see. Sonic, uh, oh god, I'm gonna jump off the call bit, I'm gonna head yeah. back into the text bit. <laughs> okay, right, we are going to raid Mitchie Myers. Um, guys, thank you all for watching. We will be, uh, I will be online again on Monday. I'll be finishing off the Jasper and the uh, Lance artwork. This is James about the Lost Soul. Who's more it seems? And we'll see you all later. Bye. We're going to steal the tea. We're going to steal the tea.